Hello, everybody, and good day. This is Fred with Tech Talk and Wentworth CCTV of New England. And we are coming at you today with the revisit of a video that we did some time ago teaching you how to pull up older Heek Vision and Dawa cameras, older hardware, whether it be IP cameras, NVRs, or DVRs, uh, how to pull those up in Edge. As we know, years ago when they were manufactured, uh, they were designed to work with Microsoft Explorer almost all of them, and they needed plugins and, and all that type of stuff. Um, as operating systems and security um, has advanced with you know Microsoft, um, that doesn't work anymore. There is a solution that will allow you to view these through Edge, um, but you will have to run Edge in what we call legacy mode, and you'll have to add the IP address of the hardware uh, into an authorized uh, user list. It's not a difficult process. We'll walk you through it right now. All right, what do you say? Let's get into the meat and potatoes. Before we do, you know the drill. There is a subscribe button in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Please click that and subscribe to our channel if you have not yet done so. That way you can be uh, updated when we upload future content just like this. Also, like the video if it's useful to you. And as always, leave comments. I just mentioned this video is based on some comments that we're receiving saying that legacy mode is not working um, with those older IP cameras intended for, um, you know, Microsoft Explorer. So the first thing we need to do is locate the camera, NVR, DVR, uh, the hardware that's on your network. Um, you'll use a search or configuration tool to do that um, for DAWA. They have this config tool um, that you can find uh, with Dawa Wiki. Just, you know, Google Dawa config tool. And of course, Heek Vision has the uh, SADP tool, tool that you can use to search and configure for, for Heek Vision equipment. Um, but I know right now we have a Dawa camera um, that is networked with, with this system. So we'll go to the config tool and we'll get the IP address uh, of that hardware already running and you'll see right here it's at 192.168.065 okay and it is a IP camera we'll give you the model number the MAC address firmware version all that stuff okay the cool thing with DAO if you've watched videos uh, with us before you can actually click web here and it will pull up this camera uh, in a web browser um, so we'll pull it up in edge and as you can see, 192.168.065, uh, we'll put in the password. And what's going to happen is you are going to get the circle of death um, due to it not matching, um, you, you know, Edge. It's, it's, it's made for working with Explorer. Um, sometimes you'll get an error message. Sometimes you'll get a prompt coming up asking you to install a plugin. Before you can do any of that, we have to put edge in legacy mode but what you'll see when you try to log in is something like this right you just see a circle of that that will go on forever and it's never going to pull up your picture okay um, so what we'll do we'll go into edge um, you'll see these three dots in the top right hand corner click those come down to where it says settings right here and when you're in the settings to the left side you'll see a toolbar um, in the middle is default browser Okay, we want to click default browser and it's going to ask, do you want to allow sites to reload in Internet Explorer mode? Okay, legacy mode. So we want to allow. Okay, we want that to happen. It says for the setting changes to take effect, restart your browser. Okay, so we're going to hit restart, right? We want to restart the browser. And now what we can do is we can actually add the IP address on your network of that piece of hardware, okay? Whether it be the Heek Vision camera, uh, the DAWA NVR or IP camera, um, whatever device you're trying to view in legacy mode, we want that IP address there. So we'll go back into the config tool and get that IP address in because I already forgot it. And it's 065. Okay. Let's 
just like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight that and we're going to cut and paste it. Okay, you should know how to do that with your mouse. Just highlight and then cut, copy. We'll go back where our three dots are. Settings, default browser. Now you'll see that that is enabled. So we're allowing Internet Explorer mode. We're going to add that camera's IP address. Okay, and we're going to hit add. And as you can see, it added it. Okay. So now when we refresh this, a bar should come up here on the top that says something to the effect of, you know, you're run, running in, in Explorer legacy mode. And hopefully we don't see a circle of death. Hopefully the camera comes up if we did everything right. That's it. Um, the camera is looking at the sky, unfortunately. Um, but it is, it's, it's allowing you to pull it out. Right. And, um, you know, that's what we want to do. We have made a video just like this for, for following these steps to, to do the same thing, um, using Chrome and Firefox. There's links to those videos in the description of the video, but yeah, for some reason people are having a hard time, um, activating this legacy mode and pulling the camera up. It's not super, super advanced stuff. Um, you know, really it's just cut and pasting that IP address um, to the Explorer settings here. I'll show you one more time. Settings, default browser. Um, you just need to add the IP address. And of course you wanna make sure this is allowed. Um, once you do that, um, in this case with this camera, it came right up. Um, if your camera is super old, um, you might get a screen that tells you you need to download a plugin. Okay. And I don't like those, but if you need to download the plugin for the firmware in your camera to work, the encoding to work with legacy mode, um, then in install the plugin. Um, the other thing is, as always, when you log into the camera, um, you'd want to make sure that it has the most up to date firmware. Okay. And usually you'll find that under system and go to auto maintain um, right here upgrade um, you can auto check uh, for for later firmware okay um, make sure that's checked you can also manually check um, and it will tell you hey it's the latest version if there were a newer version um, it would give you the newer version um, and then you could update your your camera um, to the latest firmware to make sure that it works with, you know, the, the proper browser. So that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, we'll see you in the field.